Hi folks, it's Tom Colvin from Blues Asia Network and I'm sitting here with someone I've really been looking forward to meeting. It's a new friend face to face but somebody whose music I've been listening to for a while now and featuring on Blues Asia Network. Uh, introduce yourself, your band, what you do. Um, my name is Ipshita Roy and uh, I am the singer of uh, Big Bang Blues. Uh, we're a band from Delhi and um, yeah, we play the blues and we play it with our hearts, so that's about it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And what I want to know is where did you get that blues voice? I have no idea. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have no idea. Um, all I know is uh, when I was in, um, when I was still studying in school and you know, I, um, the first time I think Buddy Guy came to India, uh, he performed a, a show in Delhi and um, I didn't know what blues was then. I was training to be a Hindustani classical singer because my parents wanted, yeah. they realized that I had some interest in singing so they had put me for some lessons but um, I saw this a little uh, TV promo of Buddy Guy playing with his polka dotted guitar on the television and I was like, I love that music, what is that? I don't know. So I went back, you know, luckily we had the internet by then and um, I looked up on Buddy Guy and then I was introduced to the blues. That's where I was introduced to the blues and I just fell in love with it immediately. Yeah. And um, over the years I just kept on discovering more and more music. You know, I discovered soul and gospel singers and I've been following them and then I went back into later the 1920s Bessie Smith style of blues ah. and everything. So, yeah, uh, it just kept on happening from there. So, yeah. And, yeah, that's how it happened. Okay. And, like, even when I was um, singing Indian classical, somehow I realized that the way I was singing somehow would never complement that style. And I was always sort of little distant from, and my I remember my parents or at least my teacher would say, you're too loud. You're too loud to sing in in classical, you know. You <laughs> need to control your voice. You're yeah. too loud, and I was like, oh, that's. I don't know. I don't feel for it. So yeah, this yeah. is where I feel. This is where I feel the music. So yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, here's a singer that really belts it out. I mean, <laughs> and, and with such energy on stage. Wow. Yeah, wow. it's it's great fun. That's that's all I think about when I'm on stage. Um, it's it's like this um, sudden uh, like a shot that you get like a boost of energy mm -hmm. and uh, you know it, it's not a pretense I mean it's not that I'm trying to put on a show or anything it's just that when you're on stage and when you hear that sound and when your bandmates are there it's just so organic and then you just feel like just having fun and that's all I do on stage I just have fun yeah and it really comes through I mean it's such an honest performance that you give Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Um, can you give us a little bit of history of the band, how it was put together, and how you found the other guys in the band? And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. um, so Big Bang Blues is about uh, four years old. Um, it started with Sushant uh, working with a couple of other guys before, who eventually uh, did not continue with the band. And then Sushant and I got together for our first show. And uh, I initially thought it would just be like a one gig project because, you know, I mean, we, we never thought that we would land up playing for four years together. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was great fun. We did that one show and people just loved our music mm -hmm. and, you know, our musical influences sort of just blended together. And uh, since then, um, we've had, uh, we've, yes, we've had to struggle to find the right kind of people to work with us. We've worked with a lot of other musicians um, who have joined Big Bang Blues and then left later because of their diff creative differences or something. But um, we found Kapil and then we found Shivam and, uh, you know, it's just been great having these guys on board. And they just bring so much, uh, like, it's, it's like, it's this setup which just completes the Big Bang Blues sound, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it has a little bit of jazz, a little bit of rock and roll, a little bit of you know, uh, soul and gospel, a little bit of Delta blues out there. And so it just sort of blends in together. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, can you describe for us what the blues scene in Delhi is like? 
Um, it's slow. It's slow. Um, there is no uh, difference between um, the blues scene in particular or say the rock scene in particular as well. You know, it's just like um, in not just in Delhi, but more or less all over India, it's like there is um, the popular music scene and there is the other music scene. Mm -hmm. And so the other music scene includes blues, jazz, rock, you know, most mostly English music that people are writing. And it includes some Hindi bands as mm -hmm. well. But uh, it's not the popular music. It's uh, very urban. It's very urban and restricted to mainly the metropolitan cities. But yes, we have uh, people who love our music mm -hmm. and who are regular followers of the music and come for all our shows. Yeah. And um, people have been supporting us and loving our music since the time we formed the band. Yeah. And it's just been great for us. So okay. despite a little less following, yeah. it's been good for us. What, what are the major venues where you play? Um, so here is this uh, thing in Delhi, um, there are no particular venues that you'll have for blues or jazz music. Um, there are one or two pubs or clubs if you would call it, which have a designated stage or a performance venue. The other places that hold performances of bands and blues bands, jazz bands, whatever, uh, they are sort of like makeshift venues. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, they hire bands to attract more crowd over the weekends or something and you know increase their sales um, and there are just a few places like there's Blue Frog, there's Attitude Alive, there's Turquoise Cottage which are designated music venues because they have a designated stage, they have their in-house sound mm -hmm. so yeah J but just a few of them yeah but yeah the Blue Frog is the one I've heard of before and they have another branch uh, where is it in Mumbai or it's in Mumbai in so Mumbai. the original one uh, I mean the the first one was in Mumbai and then they sort of replicated the model in Delhi mm -hmm. and one of the things I've discovered and I don't know if they're still doing it but uh, Blue Frog sometimes streams their music so you can uh, on the internet you can actually find music that, that yeah. originated in Blue Frog. Yeah, that's there. Uh, so all of the bands that they have played in Blue Frog, so they have a Blue Frog website where you can actually go and read up on the artist page and the artist bios. You can go through the photographs and their videos and there's a radio sort of thing that they have where you can actually listen to uh, the music of all the artists who've played there. Yeah. The venue. Okay, excellent. Well, you mentioned radio. and. Uh, I have to mention, of course, Blues Asia Radio, all blues, all Asian, all time. <laughs> and one of the featured bands, this the, in our current playlist, we have 20 different performing artists wow. on our current playlist. It changes every week or two. Uh, and, uh, uh, and we've got over 40 artists I've already identified and collected tracks from and more are coming in every week but this I hope you can see it it's uh, but that is Big Bang Blues your album uh, yes. tell me about this album it's really nice um, well um, so it took us about four years to come out with that album um, because um, we didn't want to hurry the songwriting process you know we are we are not the kind of musicians who will just say, oh, I'm going to write a song and I'll just sit and write and I'll put some chords to it and, oh, here we have a song, you know. We're mm -hmm. not that kind of people. Um, all of our songs have been inspired by our personal uh, sort of incidences and everything. Uh, okay. And whether it's heartbreak or, you know, falling in love or, you know, being, you know, disrespected or, you know, just imagining your loved one to be there. Um, if if you actually go through the lyrics you'll see the kind of emotion emotion that's put there and um, you know every time something happens you know we feel it and we write it and that's how a song comes out it's very organic for yeah. us and um, the album bigger than blues in fact the title was a little um, you know I mean a lot of people were like bigger than blues you mm. know are you sure you want to keep that title <laughs> you know what are you trying to say um, but um, what we what we wanted to sort of portray with the title was that um, 
while we are a blues band you know blues blues is our roots and we love the blues and it makes us who we are but we are a little more than that mm -hmm. so we have influences from other styles of music and other genres which is how exactly big bang blues was also formed like mm -hmm. you know just what i explained before like each of the individual members bring in their different influences and what we wanted to create was something uh very very close to the blues but mm -hmm. unique in its own way we mm -hmm. wanted to have our own sound and bigger than blues represents that okay well this album you can listen to it on uh, blues asia radio and when their song is playing you can actually click on the song title and it will take you to a site where you can learn more about Big Bang Blues and maybe even track down where to buy a copy. So Absolutely. check it out, folks. Uh, one last thing. Uh, what advice do you have, particularly for women, uh, that might be interested in the blues? There are not enough of you, you know. <laughs> yes. Um, well, yes. Uh, blues has, uh, as a lot of women say, that blues has been a male-dominated sort of, uh, you know, um, genre. But uh, nevertheless, um, I think um, it's it's not about being a man or a woman. It's about being as close to your heart and singing from your heart. So if you feel the blues, you gotta go and sing it. Just express it out to people, and people will connect to you. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. You just got to sing it. Yeah, absolutely. And what about to young musicians of, you know, either male or female yeah. or singer or guitarist or whatever? Any advice to them, the young ones that yeah, are starting out? Um, pretty much, um, you know, what uh, the, the only advice that I have to give is that um, you have to be true to yourself, you know. Uh, do not play um, I, I there are a lot of um, I'm saying this from my experience with a lot of musicians in India particularly um, I remember this young musician came up to me and uh, said that oh we are forming a blues band because blues is really in the scene right now so, <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was like um, okay that's good but then you know do you really enjoy it I mean is that what you want to play and yeah. do you connect to it so that's all that I have to say I mean if you feel it if you connect to it then that's your music. If you're just playing for the gigs or the money, that's really not being true to yourself. I mean, because you'll end up just making music that connects to nobody, yeah. you know, not even to yourself. So, Okay.